Hi everyone. Thank you so much for joining me today. Moonlight is something that I've always been partial to. And I suppose a lot of that comes from my mother. But there's a very special moonlight that holds a special appeal to me. And that's lavender moonlight. And it's only during a very special time of the year, actually only every few years, that you get a lavender moon. At least that's what my mother called it. I've never seen anything on the internet called lavender moon, but I love growing lavender. I love smelling lavender. Well, I've talked about it in other videos. It truly is my favorite. Now I know lavender isn't for everyone. And fortunately, there are enough essential oils or fragrances, if you prefer, to please pretty much anyone. Or maybe you like no fragrance at all. But this video is about lavender, my love of lavender, and my love of moonlight. And that's why I call this Moonlight Lavender. This is some lavender that I dried and infused in alkanet oil, which is alkanet root in almond oil. And this was infused over about nine weeks because I forgot about it. <laughs> so it got a really dark purpley reddish color. So I'm hoping that I get the color that I want in this soap. And I think that I will. Most of the Alkanet uh, that I use personally is purchased. I don't grow the plant where Alkanet root comes from. So I have to order that as most of us do here in the United States. And one of the things I like about Alkanet or pretty much any root powder that I use in for coloring is that it infuses so very well. And the blend with my goat milk is phenomenal. I, you know, does it limit you? Perhaps a bit. You know, you're never going to get really Christmas reds or Christmas greens or uh, the gold that you get from gold mica and those sort of things. I mean, I think you can get some great colors. There are plenty of videos online of beautiful natural colorants. And you can do a lot with them. But you're not going to be able to emulate the true primary colors. They're, you know, with natural colorants. And that's because natural root colors don't... Um, react the same way to lie that something like a mica does. Um, mica stay, if you get it in true Christmas red, it's generally going to stay true Christmas red. Um, but if you use something like turkey rhubarb for red, or you use red clays and things, and then you put it through saponification, and even if you do full gel, the color is not going to be quite the same kind of color that you get with micas. This is made with, you know, my normal oils and butters that I adore using and my own goat milk. And I personally, of course, this is all an opinion, but I believe that the combination is perfect for bath, shower, kitchen, guest room, anywhere and for all skin types uh, it doesn't leave the skin feeling dirty <laughs> or oily and in the same token it doesn't strip the skin of your own natural oils and i believe that handmade soap like this is the best for you in my opinion all soap will clean you Every soap on the market will clean your skin. And that's pretty much all I can say about my soap, is it will clean your skin. It will do the job of getting you clean. However, 
It doesn't have detergents in it that many market soaps have that do strip your skin. Now, I fragranced this with lavender essential oil because just because I infused lavender in my oil, the fragrance does not survive in soap. So you have to use an essential oil, but that's okay with me. I love lavender essential oil and always look forward to sharing it with you all. I did pour off some of this into the Alkanet infused lavender oil so that uh, there that in lies the lavender and the natural color of the soap will form the moon. Now this will not be a white moon because I'm not using anything like titanium dioxide in the natural part of the soap to whiten it. Now you could get a white soap just by using pure coconut oil and you generally will get a really white soap. But this soap has oils and butters in it that I prefer to use. So the natural soap has sort of a golden color. And also because I of the olive oil that I use, the Texas olive oil, it's a very green olive oil that is pretty fresh actually from the uh, grove. So it's, you know, it is a darker green color. But that's okay. I'm perfectly happy with it. The idea was that I would pour this right down the center from a bit of height to create, I thought the white would go down into the lavender and form a moon shape. Kind of just a dip and a poop of the poof of the, not a poop of the moon, a poof of the moon. Just a, a it was just an idea. Uh, and overall, as you'll see, I think that I did kind of uh, hit the mark there. Some of them are a little imperfect. Uh, the tops, I really like the little swirl of the Alkanet with the natural color. Uh, and you can see that it's, you know, there's nothing spectacular about the design. It's very simple. I like a little cube soap. I'm rather partial to them. I think for one reason why I really like them is I can stack them <laughs> along the top of my shower. I have like little pyramids of these shaped soaps in my shower, uh, up above on a shelf, I mean. And it's a, they're easy to store, they don't take up a lot of room, and yet you're still getting a full-size bar of soap. It's just in a square rather than a rectangular shape. And I first just wanted to show you how they came out. And then I wanted to tur turn them over and show you the moons. And therein lies the name Lavender Moon. Some of the moons are more perfect than others. Well, I would say none of them are perfect. But uh, some of them are more of a moon shape than others. I really enjoyed putting these together. They... They smell delicious. I used, uh, I, I will only use essential oils up to the safe amount that you can use. I never use more than that. But what I will do oftentimes when I'm making, uh, uh, making essential oil soaps, which is pretty much all I make, it is all I make or no scent at all, uh, I will use right up to the limit, sometimes less. But I was very happy with how these turned out. I hope you like them as well. They were fun to put together. They smell great. And I'll be sticking these in the shop about uh, late November. So they'll be there in plenty of time for Christmas. Uh, and I think that they'd be really nice in the guest room or wherever. They smell terrific. And um, yeah, that's it. I hope you enjoyed this, everyone. Have a fantastic day, and I'll see you back soon. Goodbye.